Okay, I went ahead and I posted a video today on how to do the buffalo check um, paint. It's just a matter of using painter's tape and taping it off in different sections. Um, I wanted to show you how to do it because I knew it would be too time consuming to get this to dry in time. So I went ahead and I did a video just with this disc, um, this wooden disc, so you could see how it's done. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, Esther. Hi, Dawn. We're able to go forward. So far, there's no puppies, but she definitely is in labor. So, um, yeah. So anyhow, I had these um, rails. Okay, I've had them for a while now. And I just didn't want to do the mesh. And I don't know if you know, but I joined Dre's um, Ranch House Reese and things. Um, her private group. And I'll tell you what, she is blowing me away with her designs. So the other night she did a rail that Levine had painted for her that was absolutely gorgeous. And all she did were florals, no mesh, just florals. And that got me thinking, I have these, I'm going to give it a shot. So I know I'm thinking of Yaster. Hi, Nanny Dot. So every year I um, go to Michael's and I buy one of these big, long pine garlands. Um, I buy not cheap, but inexpensive pine wreaths. And I use bits and pieces from this to incorporate in that. Because a lot of times it's just this one type of fern or one type of pine. So I use these to add into it and give it volume and make it look like it's thicker than it is. So this was actually left over from last year and it usually all goes in the same direction. So what I decided to do was cut it up and I'm gonna put one this way and one this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna zip tie these to the base is this not going to look gorgeous? I have one that I painted white, but I kind of like the red. So I may go ahead and I may, um, I just painted it white. I didn't do the buffalo check on it yet, but I may go ahead and make this the back, paint the front red and start all over again. So it's really not that hard. I watched several videos online. Um, there was a couple that was doing it and they had a different method where they used four uh, different paints. I found that so darn confusing and it did not turn out the way I'd hoped it would. So I had to start all over again. So the method I used is just using the two paints, just the, the red and the black. You're just controlling how much paint you put on. Like for the first time you um, you tape it off, I used a lighter, I tried to dry brush it and get a lot of the paint off the brush and then do it lightly. And then the next time I went a little heavier and then you're gonna leave that taped and when you do the last, which is the really dark, the whole board is gonna be taped except those black spots. Now the trick to it is to make sure that you seal the painter's tape on both sides really well so the paint doesn't bleed underneath. If it does, that's okay. There is a way to go back and clean it up. All right. So I, the one I did yesterday was on the black or on the white. And uh, I don't know, I went a little too light. So I may just mess it up some more. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do with these, and this is basically what Dre was showing us, is she went ahead and she got her swag or her florals together first and then went ahead and attached them to the board. 
So I grabbed some of the really dark. Do you want me to pull it in a little bit so you guys can see what's going on a little bit better? Let me know if that works. All right, so I went ahead and used the black because I want to disguise it. I want it to kind of disappear in this pine swag. Um, and I ran out of paint. That's why my uh, rail is painted black. <laughs> Nobody has the satin red right now. So, so yeah. So basically right now we're just going to get the two pieces secured to each other so they look more like one. And I'm not going to worry that my one side is a tiny bit longer than the other side because I really want it to look rustic. And I could have used um, a prepared swag that I already had, but I felt this was a little bit lighter than that one and just a little bit fuller. Not that I couldn't make it fuller, but... I think this is really going to look good nice and rustic and see I'm going to kind of maneuver these so I have a space in the middle for my bow but let's try and center it on here but I'm just loving Dre's group her creativity is amazing it's like you know you're just sitting there watching and all of a sudden you have this aha moment because i've had these rails for a while now and i thought you know i really don't want to do mesh my boys are getting tired of mesh so I thought this would be real rustic and really the buffalo plaid is more nostalgic and it's come back into style because this used to be the coats that our grandparents would wear, the buffalo plaid. I think I'm going to put three in here so I've got it secure in the middle and the ends. And anything I do in the middle is going to just get covered up with the bow anyhow. So we're good. Everybody is loving your wreath, Dawn. I posted pictures. A picture. We'll see if I'm too heavy on one side. I can move it to the other. Have any of you used florals on a um, rail before? I appreciate the sprinkling more than you know. Facebook isn't really cooperating as far as sprinkling goes. It was really gorgeous, Dawn. Everybody loved it. Probably going to have to make that sign again. <laughs> I have one similar on there, but that one was basically just for you. I have a feeling somebody's going to say, can you make me that sign? And I have to do your car coasters. I'm sorry, I did not get to them yet. I'm hoping first thing in the morning to get it done. That's if I'm not up all night with Tootsie. There we go. 
All right. So what do you think? Doesn't that look gorgeous? Now see, all I have to do is maneuver some of this stuff around. We are going to be putting stuff in here, so does that look gorgeous? Hi Z, welcome. We're on Puppy Watch. Her temp went down, so she's going to be going soon, I'm sure. Now, I want to make this look really rustic. I thought these were kind of cool to put in there. I'm just going to kind of dry fit everything to see if that's how I want it. Um, I definitely want to use some pine cones. Let's put this one opposite that one. And then I think I'll put one... I'll put that one there and then maybe I'll put that one up there. I like that. See, this is doing most of the work for me, so there isn't a whole lot that I'm going to have to do. And this was actually a candle ring. Not many people use candle rings anymore, so I'm actually taking it apart because these um, berries are really coated well. So I'm going to be sticking some berries in and out of here. I might just keep this whole little spray that's going on here because it's a different color. So it's just going to add more texture. And these look like... Are you back? Sorry about that. My plug, my uh, Mevo came unplugged. So if you wouldn't mind spreading all over again for me. <laughs> I don't know. If it can go wrong today, it will go wrong today. It's just been that kind of a day. Actually, that kind of a week. So... I have to use some muscle here with tool. There we go. This is nice because this ring is just wrapped around and everything is piled on top of it. So you can just kind of peel back the layers and grab some of it. Look at that. Yay! So sorry I lost you. Thanks for coming back. I knew you wouldn't leave me. I know you'd find me. <laughs> Thank you again. <gasps> oh, Debbie, you have to send pictures. Thanks, Jean. I was on and then my, my Mevo became unplugged and kicked me off. So I'm taking apart a candle ring here. Um, because I love these berries. <laughs> so, it's not being used as a candle ring anymore. So, I did post a video on YouTube on how to do this, um, the buffalo plaid. Alright, so, what we did was, instead of mesh, we are using um, this fern, or pine excuse me this is actually left over from um, a big garland that i bought last year i always buy a big long piece at the beginning of the year and then um around christmas time and then i use it to incorporate in like if i have some pine um wreath bases that are not real full i just take bits and pieces of this off and put it in it just gives it more dimension Thank you. 
so yeah so this was a rail i've had for a long time i'm in dre's um creative group right now um she has ranch house wreaths and things and uh boy is she awesome she did a rail last night that levon had painted or the night before yeah monday night she did a a one that levon had painted and it had pumpkins on it and she just brought out some florals and started stacking them and wow i'm just loving the ideas that she's given me all right let's see if we can figure out how to put this in here and you know what i think i can because of the rail i'm just going to snip that and i'm going to go on either side of this down through the rail and pull it and tie it from the back if i need to secure it more i can hot glue the base of it to the uh pine swag and and i could have used a pine swag also but i just thought this looked fuller the other swag really didn't have the pine that this did so So we got it there so let's just kind of wrap this if you can see what i'm doing just kind of wrap this around here to kind of hold it a little bit better there because then i can just kind of like pull it forward and cover it up with that one there and then we'll do the same to this side trying to make it look like real um woodsy for lack of <laughs> the word i'm trying to find and then i have some of this string and i'm going to use that for up here we're going to put a nice big bow here so when you use a rail like this you can put a lot of your um time and effort into the paint job on it and then this doesn't require that much at all as far as you know what you're going to add to it um so if i start hearing a puppy crying i will tell you i'm going and i will go in the other room and if i have time i will post a picture of one of the new pups i don't know how many are in there she was supposed to have her x-ray this morning um, when a dog's temperature drops, that's when, um, they're going into labor. So I was not about to, um, take her in the car and get her upset on the way to the vets. So she stayed home. I told him that when they gave me an appointment, I didn't think she was going to make it till then and she didn't now i think what i'll do is i'm gonna put i'm gonna glue this to the back of this and then i'm gonna use it to tie it down but not obstruct it just gotta hold it for a minute Am I seeing all your comments? I don't know if I am. Do you like this angle better? Let me, um, we had it kind of pulled in to the design before I got kicked off. <laughs> so. I could also um, drill a hole through it. Thank you, Jean. And put roping through it and tie it down also because it's um it's plastic but it's hollow I was trying to find items that did not weigh a lot that would not weight this down I know it's strong but it's still thin wood and I didn't want it you know breaking so if this doesn't hold I will have to go to the to that way of securing it 
but I think we're good. Bring that back here. There we go. All right, so basically we're just gonna build on this. And I'm thinking I wanna kinda do, and I went with the real big pine cones. I kind of like them. And this one, because I'm going to go for my triangle, you know, one, two, three. That is the way people look at things. They view things in odd numbers like that. So I want the eye to kind of go around the design. So that's why I'm going this route. So I think I like where those are. So let's glue those in. Um, trying to figure out which was the underside. I want to make it rustic, but I want to use these berries to kind of pull out the red from here. I had a little bit of a tough time with the uh, ribbon though. I had a ribbon chosen and when I got it to the board, it just didn't look right. So, shoo, excuse me. this little owl and I thought he would look kind of cute in here somewhere but I'm not sure we're just gonna take it as it comes now let's just work on I think I'll put like five of these in that way I've got my odd number and my visual interest do that I'm going to kind of go like here 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 this is a bigger piece actually that would do better here since it is a bigger piece and we don't need all this so let's cut some of that off I think I do want some leaves in there though I'm liking the contrast on the colors here between the dark green and the light green so I kind of like that put this down in here a little more so it's not right on top of that one I know I'm just talking to myself That might not get noticed. So I think we need to come up here a little further, like right there. All right, let's pull some more of this apart. Like I said, this used to be a candle ring. It's now getting a new life. Let's see if I can use this one. Right about. That's looking woodsy, and that's what I was after. And this thing is really put together. I'm trying to gently just pull bits and pieces apart. Okay. 
has a really solid piece of paper um, ribbon wrapped around here and it's really holding it in place. There we go. Just something you have to work at a little bit at a time. There. needs a little more there. So let's beef that up some. Let's go ahead and use these. And I think I'm going to put this up here and work with this down in there. Now if there's room He would kind of look cute in there. Why does he have to have that thing on his head? Well, let's see if, what we can do with it. Actually, better off crinkling a little bit at a time. that up I think you can take one of those leaves and just kind of put it cover his head with it let's see what this does yeah I have to give him a leaf hat Or we'll just kind of bring it up like that. Let's, let's put this down in the hole and see if we can maneuver it to kind of cover the hole. It'll just look like he's in the woods. Like he's Got himself in a tree. I like it. All right, let's glue some of these down. Am I missing your comments? Just kind of hanging out. I think because all these have leaves on it, I want to add a leaf to this one too. That way everything is hunky-dory. Again, I don't want to go real crazy here because I want this to look really rustic. Not to mention, I don't want to make it so heavy that the rail won't handle the weight. As you know, the mesh is always real light. And this is going to be heavier. I think I got this rail from Door. Door's Decor. Ouch. Where'd that come from? Oh. 
Hi, Jeanette. We're decorating my rail that I painted with the buffalo check, which I went ahead and I posted a video on how to do it. So we have a piece of garland that we cut apart and put the two in and zip tied it to the uh, base. This is what we have so far. Got some pine cones and some berries and some antlers and a little owl. And then we're going to go for the bow. But I got kicked off because for some reason my Mevo wasn't plugged in. So we had to start over. And this is going in here pretty good. I'm loving it. I was telling him I got this idea from Dre with um, Ranch House Wreaths. I'm in her creative group now. She is amazing with her designs. It's so nice to be able to ask questions and and pull from her knowledge. Holy cow, she is awesome. Okay, that's what we have so far. So you can see there wasn't a whole lot that we added to this. No. Mine was mine was because it wasn't plugged in. It ran out of juice. I have everything plugged into the computer now. The plug was plugged in, but the other end wasn't plugged. So, but there's that. And then I'm going to add some burlap um, twine up here. So let's go ahead and make our bow. Do you like, I, I tried this out the other night and I had a lot of positive response. Do you like this um, setup? coming in from this angle. I had these out because I didn't know if I wanted to add some balls or not. You know, they kind of look kind of cute in there. Let's go for it. What the heck? We only live once. Sorry. I wasn't trying to be insensitive. Oh. So that one's down there, that one's down there. We could put one. Let's put one down in there, and then we'll place our third after we do the bow. Although I kind of like it in there. Kind of fills up that hole. All right, it's going in there. And then the third one, we'll figure out where that's going to go after we do our bow. Right? I think it works too. Much better. Now, I kind of like this. I know this is a muse, but I kind of like this in the white with the red and black as opposed to the tan that I have. I don't, I don't know. I'll show it to you and you tell me what you think. I was toying with this one, but that red is a little bit different from the red over there. So that's why I thought about this one. But maybe I need to just break this up a little with maybe some black. Um, la, 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 la. Let me see what we got. this too so this wouldn't be pulling that out if I went 
if I went with this and then went with this, because this matches that really good, and then went with the pine tree. I think I like that better. What do you think? This color with this color with this. Or we could ditch this one. I'm not liking the. No, I'm not liking that one. We need just another color. You like the second one, this one better. Yeah, so do I. But I need a third color in there. So, um, 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 um. This is the part I hate the most. When I have it all picked out, I have it all in my head, and then, I know. Yeah, it's too much. But yet, it looked good <laughs> when I first started. Um, okay, wait a minute. Let's see. I'm just grabbing a couple. Let's check. This is kind of, this kind of looks good because it is kind of woodsy, you know, because that's, no, that's two. Okay, I think we're going to go with these three. All right, and in order to keep the tails on this going the way I want them to go, I'm going to do the tail first. My Bo Deborah. Yeah, I think I think this the owl is all the sparkle we need for this. You guys keep Missy in your prayers. She had to go be tested for COVID. So I'm hoping she's gonna be okay. Alright, see this will make my this will have my bow going in the right direction I don't you know I don't like it when the bow is kind of looking funky all right so yeah thank you Mary where are you watching from not trying to call anybody out if you don't want to answer that's fine let's see I don't need a really big loop because of the area I'm dealing with here. So I think I'm going to stick with like a four inch. Just want something to give it a little pop of color. And I'm going to do three of this one. So see, I'm just allowing it to overhang on both sides. So when I, when I put it together, there's something for it to grab onto. Now how'd that guy get too big? Okay, we got to make him a little bit smaller. There we go. I'm trying to do this like backwards so you guys can see. So you ladies, creators, can see what I'm doing. I don't hear any puppies yet. Oh, Missy, I'm so worried about you. Did you see my little cartoon I sent you? <laughs> I'm worried. Kick those coronaviruses to the curb, baby. We don't want you to have that. No way, no how. There is a cold going around, just so you know. So if you think you have COVID, check all your... Um, all your symptoms because my husband has the cold right now <laughs> did it make you smile because that's what it's going for oh okay near cleveland my brother-in-law lives down there 
That's a very nice area. Oh, that's too cool, Jeanette. I wouldn't know what to do if I saw somebody on here from my hometown. So I haven't been there in so long. Oh, how about that? See? So you don't have all of it. The taste and smell is the biggest thing. So you might just have that cold that's going around. I'm, I'm praying for you. Because he started with it the other day and I'm like, oh, please do not tell me. Because he's a school bus driver and they just went back. I think this ribbon's in my Etsy store. I love this ribbon. I love that like little fuzzy on the end. Okay, and then number three. Yeah, this is gonna look good. do if we couldn't see your smiling face every week miss you keep us laughing all right so where is my tinsel tie I know I have some green down here why don't I use that because that should guys really well in the the pine yeah this stuff's great for working with pine it's the same color and then we'll figure out where we want to put our last um, ball Dre shares her picture from group the other night on the um, one that she made on her rail. I will share it. That, oh my gosh. LaVon did such a beautiful job painting the sign. Um, blue, pumpkins. Let's hope that all, that's all it is, honey. I started on the colloidal silver right away when he came in when I when he woke up coughing I'm like no I got puppies on the way I can't afford a cold right now it's my son's birthday on Sunday and I can't go see my grandkids I will really be sad gosh this is why you know have you ever done that where you've bought something and you just hold on to it for the longest time because you're not feeling it and then when I saw her doing that swag on the rail I'm like oh mg that is what my rail was meant for yeah I'm liking the black and white better contrast is better yay this thing sat downstairs for over a year now because it wasn't ready to come out and be what it was supposed to be it was supposed to be this so here it is Maybe that ball is meant to go right in the middle of this bow. 
Now, if it was a different color, all right, let me see what we got. I'm going to put something in there, kind of sticking out from it. Yeah, let's put some of this. I got my money out of this candle ring for sure. Yeah. Just to kind of give it some pop. How's my bed looking, miss? Are we good? Maybe I should have put the tan next to the black and white and then that no I'm I'm gonna leave it. some of that right in the middle of that bow. That's what I gotta do. Are y'all still with me? Yeah, because we don't need that much. That looks putrid. Alright, we're gonna break this one apart because this one's fuller than the other one. So we need to we need to not break it. <laughs> there. We'll glue some of this on here. So we have it even. down with that. I'm not burning my finger. No, sweetie. But here we are. We're jacking it up. Wish Levon was here so she could see us jacking it up. That was her advice to me this morning. Jack it up. I said, you know, girl, I'll do it. Jack it, jack it, jack it up. Yeah. All right, now we got to find a place for the ball. One more ball. We've got one here and we've got one over here. So... I think right here. I hope our owl doesn't look stupid with that little leaf for a head. All right, what do you think? Let me let me widen the view there, and then I'll put some. Uh, well, that's holding really good too, and it's not bending so. I think that's looking pretty solid. How's that? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I showed you how to do this. I like doing it on an angle. I thought that would be really, really different. You see, this is the one. This is the first one I did when I was watching this other couple and they suggested four colors and I ended up repainting it because it just did not work for me. So then the one I, I captured on a, a video, I ended up doing it on the black and white. And it's really not hard to do. It's just a lot of taping and you really got to pay attention to what you're doing. 
So I think with this one, I'm liking that better than, than if I did this one in white and black. What do you think? Should I do one in white and black or should I do another one in red and black? I used up all my husband's painting tape. I gotta go get more. Now I'm, this is, this is the look I was going for. So I think our owl needs to be just positioned a little bit higher or glue them a little tighter to that antler. I know, right? And I thought, oh man, you're starting out and you're trying it diagonal. What are you thinking? But I, I love it. And then I thought with this one, because I'm going to do a couple of these. I thought these would really be nice with like a white initial on them. And then look, you could even put that there and you could put a hanger up here or you could put a small bow and stick this in the bow. I definitely would get rid of this and then put their initial with a little bit of greenery, which I do have some here. Well, I did. I even brought this out. Because I, well, that, nope, that one looked good there. See, I was even thinking about putting this in here. But then I found these berries. But see, all you really need is just a small, yikes, swag to put in it. Oh, here I have some. Okay. Let's just kind of play with this one. This is, again, left over from the one I did. Now, see... You could just put a simple bow here, okay, a big old white initial, and boom, you're done. Yeah, I, I think the black, I think these ribbons really make that black um, pop, the red and black. So I'm thinking that would be good. I even have some of this, because you're not going to need a whole lot for this. Look at that. That's pretty too. I know, right? Simple little gift for somebody that looks like you took a lot of time. And and actually, I shouldn't I shouldn't downplay it. It does take some time to get this method. <laughs> Look. <laughs> it took me one, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> And, and in between, I was doing the diagonal. I thought I better practice on these first because this was more expensive. So, um, you know, and this would be even cute, okay, to put some greenery up here and do another color, um, maybe a red in there, and then a simple bow. Or look, you could even incorporate him in there somehow, like against... See, that one I don't like how it turned out. Or, this is what I really was going to put in there, but I didn't, I just thought it didn't work with the, um, with the check. This needs to be in just a green wreath. So, I have some of these. But isn't that cute? So simple. I got, I actually got the teardrop ones because they were really full. I think they were, I think they were about a 32, yeah, they were a 32 inch teardrop and they were really full. They come folded, so you have to unfold them, but they were really, really nice. And could you see some of these like, you know, scattered down and then your ribbon weaving in and out, that would really be pretty. Yes, right? So simple. I have so many of these left. I actually have a Christmas tree. It's kind of like a palette Christmas tree. It's only about this high. And I started it last year and I painted every other one green. I think I'm going to go back and paint the whole thing green and then do the, the black buffalo check on it. I think that is going to make it pop. 
Nice to see you, Z. I love ya, girlfriend. All right. Well, there I kind of, you know, I kind of simplified the painting method for you. So go check out the video. I already uploaded it to YouTube this morning. Um, so go check out the video. Um, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I'll help you as best I can. Oh, I miss you. Oh, one of these days. Oh, that would be really nice. Yes. I got to dig it out. I, I'm... <laughs> I'm probably going to be, I was up half the night checking on the mama last night and uh, she was sleeping and I couldn't sleep and then temp dropped this morning. Right? I just think it takes something and brings it like this. This is nice, but I can't, I just think these are overdone with the mesh. I think when you put all this on here, you really bring it into this decorating season. And Buffalo Check was big last year. It's still big. So I really think this is just a different way to go. Now, I think this side looks a little empty right here. So I may cut this up and stick a piece in there to kind of fill it out a little bit. That's what's so nice about buying the garland. And I got this last year, I think from Michael's, big long piece, and I used my 40% off coupon. And I had this garland all year long. I just kept snipping little pieces out and sticking it in the thinner ones that needed beefing up. So. Right? All right. I thank you for joining me. I thank you for spreading the love. If you're not um, not on my channel yet, my YouTube channel, please, you know, go subscribe because I am going to do some smaller videos and put them on. So I won't always be on Facebook. Okay. All right. You have a great evening. Stay safe. I love you all. All right. Good night.